Hi guys, it's Brit Brat and Tat. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make um, carrot baby food puree. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to peel your carrots. As you can see, I've just done that. And I actually don't have like a potato peeler or like a normal peeler. So I had to actually peel mine with like a knife, just regular kitchen knife. And so they kind of look kind of chunky in spots because I'm not a very good peeler. But I did my best to save most of the carrots. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the ends off. And then I'm just going to give it a rough chop. Okay, so now that I have gone ahead and just chopped my carrots up roughly, I went ahead and put them in a strainer. And I'm just going to rinse them out because I don't want there to be any kind of leftover pesticides or chemicals on them. And now that they're nice and rinsed off, I'm just going to take them over and I'm going to steam them for about 15 minutes until they're nice and soft and then I can go ahead and puree them. Okay, so now my carrots are done steaming and as you can see they're just really tender and really easy to poke through. So. I can go ahead and puree them. Now if you've watched my other videos, I know a lot of people save the water that the carrots steamed in or that the other vegetables steam them to put in here, but personally I don't like to do that because there could still be leftover chemicals and pesticides in there, you know, anything that they might have put on there that it had swallowed up while it was growing you know and so I don't want any of that stuff in there so I just go ahead and once they're nice and in here and been steamed I'll go ahead and just add some regular nursery water after you add your water to it you're just gonna puree it until it's nice and smooth also another good thing that you might want to add to your carrots it's really um, your own opinion is um, it's just some regular olive oil because the fats in this olive oil is going to help your baby absorb all of the good nutrients in the carrots. Okay, so this is what your carrot puree is going to look like after you've processed it. Um, if you want, you can make it thinner than that. This is pretty thin already though because Char is only about, he's, he's almost five months now, but um, he still won't get it for probably a week or so. But yeah, so I still keep it pretty thin for him. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fill my ice trays up and get them ready to freeze. And here's my carrots put into the ice cube trays. Um, so one bag of carrots made a, a little over an ice tray and a half. And he eats about two cubes every time he eats. So that's, mm, let's see, a week and about a week and four days worth of food. And it's so much cheaper than buying the jar food because it lasts for three months while it's frozen. Um, you, they say that you should use it up after a month for the most nutrients, but it can last up to three months. And so it's just so much better in the long run, I think, to make the food. It's healthier, it lasts longer, it's cheaper. You know, I don't really see any negative sides to it. But So after you have your carrots and your ice cube trays, my ice cube trays have lids, so you just go ahead and pop your lid on there. And then um, you're just going to freeze it for overnight or for 12 hours. And then you're pretty much good. Then you just need to go ahead and put it in your Ziploc bags. And it's good for three months. And I'll show you guys that when they're done freezing. 
So here's the carrots, guys. You see how nice and orange they are. And then you just want to pop them out and put them in your Ziploc bag. You label and date it. Make sure that you do this part because, you know, I wouldn't know if this is sweet potato, squash, carrots, what it is. Um, also, the date is good because uh, they're good for three months. I try and use them up within a month. Um, so, yeah. And then you want to get all the air out of it so that no bacteria can grow and so that the nutrients stay in there. So that's it for carrots. Um, yeah.